Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. America's top courtroom sketch artist has lifted the lid on what celebrities are really like on the stand and why they can look unrecognizable in print. Jane Rosenberg, a veteran sketch artist who has spent four decades capturing trials in New York City, admits in her upcoming memoir that she was left with nightmares over her work being scrutinized by millions. In particular, Rosenberg's attempt at drawing Tom Brady during his 2015 Deflategate trial became infamous as critics panned her for making the handsome quarterback look like he was put in one of those machines that crushes cars. The artist was also noted for her apparent distaste at Harvey Weinstein's toned-down look at his Me Too trial, as she famously drew the movie Magnate and his baby blue jumper as a looming figure with a gigantic belly. Although Rosenberg had a front-row seat to some of the most famous trials to go through New York in decades, from John Gotti to Martha Stewart, it is her history with Tom Brady that captured the most headlines. Rosenberg lifted the lid on this trial and more in her memoir-drawn testimony. My Four Decades as a Courtroom Sketch Artist, which is out on August 13. The legendary quarterback ended up in federal court in New York in 2015 after being suspended for four games by the NFL over the deflate gate ball tampering scandal. Rosenberg admits she knew almost nothing about Brady other than that he was a football player. That in itself should have been a bad omen, Rosenberg says. As people would not tire of pointing out once the furor began, this was an extremely good-looking man, classically handsome with his jaw strong and cheekbones high, she writes. But I couldn't quite work out what defined him, what made that face Tom Brady, he was all chiseled and cropped, smooth and almost disconcertingly featureless. This should have been a warning sign. Once Rosenberg arrived at the courthouse, the scale of the story dawned on her. Her sketch of Brady was part of a wider scene showing numerous people in court, but once the picture went viral, Everyone just zoomed in on Brady, which Rosenberg blamed on his face being out of proportion. Brutal memes put the sketch in place of E.T. on the poster for the classic movie, or The Face in the Scream, by Norwegian artist Edvard Munch. After facing backlash over her efforts, Rosenberg agreed to an interview with ABC's Good Morning America, which her son convinced her would be great for your brand. But Rosenberg said felt terrible about the attention as she took her work seriously and this sketch obviously wasn't up to her own high standards. She took to heart the mean emails that flooded her inbox and so sat at home drawing Brady over and over again ahead of his next court appearance, which was two weeks away. Rosenberg said the difficulty capturing Brady's visage came from his excessively long forehead, disconcertingly featureless face, and his squashed and bunched eyes and nose. Rosenberg issued a public apology and confessed that she had nightmares about her viral fame but thankfully her second effort passed without so much attention. Rosenberg says, studying Brady in detail helped me understand where I'd perhaps gone wrong with the first sketch. If you look at that famous face without a helmet or those dark stripes the football players were under their eyes, you can see that it's actually a little out of proportion. The forehead is long, excessively so, giving the impression that the eyes, nose and mouth are all closer than they should be. Those main features are a little squashed, all bunched together in the middle of the face's elongated oval. Matters worked out better for Brady and his suspension was overturned and he was allowed to compete in the rest of the 2015 season. For Rosenberg, the histrionic online response to her work has become part of the job which began back in 1980 when, as a struggling young artist, she attended a lecture given by courtroom artist Marilyn Church. Inspired, Rosenberg decided to give it a go for herself and even though her first case was a grisly murder, she was hooked. I fell in love with the rush of getting a fast-moving scene onto the page in time to illustrate the news that evening, she writes. I quickly got the bug of work that is unpredictable, often stressful, but never less than interesting. Rosenberg settled on pastels array.